Hi! Have you ever wondered how water gets to your tap? The journey starts at the source. Water is everywhere. You can find it in lakes, oceans, and rivers. There's water in the air as fog, humidity, and clouds. And you can find it underground. This is groundwater. So what is the source for your drinking water? It depends on where you live. Do you live in Guelph? You drink groundwater. How about Wellington County? You also drink groundwater. Do you live in Waterloo Region? You drink groundwater. But you also might get your water from the Grand River. Let's first talk about groundwater. Groundwater is the rain and melted snow that soaks into the ground. Underneath your feet are layers of sand, rock, and gravel. As the rain or melted snow soaks into the ground, the water drops slowly move underground, filling up the spaces in the layers of the sand, rock, and gravel. This is groundwater. But if groundwater is deep underground, how do we get it to where we live? We use wells. Wells are large pipes we put deep into the ground. Think of a well like a really big straw. With the help of a pump, the groundwater is pushed up the well to the surface where we are. If you live in Waterloo Region, some of your drinking water might start at the Grand River. Treating water from the Grand River takes more work and energy than treating groundwater. Water in a river is exposed to human and animal activity, plus the effects of weather. A weir redirects water from the Grand River to a large holding tank. This allows time for leaves and sand to settle to the bottom of the tank. The water then travels through a large pipe to the water treatment plant in Mannheim. At the water treatment plant, the water goes through many steps to make sure it is safe to drink. It takes about eight hours from the time the water enters the treatment plant until it leaves as clean drinking water. The treatment plant can treat up to 840 liters of water every second but normally it produces between 400 and 600 liters per second, about 40 to 50 million liters of water every day, enough water to fill 1,000 backyard swimming pools. Each step is carefully monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week from a high-tech control room. Water operators can track what is happening throughout the plant and start or stop the system. Testing the water is also an important part of the treatment process to make sure the water is clean and safe to drink. The water is tested before, during, and after treatment. The water then enters the distribution system where it travels through underground pipes. Before the water arrives at your home, it might first go through a water tower. Water towers are big and tall. They help store extra clean water. They also help to move the water through the underground pipes. Pressure from the weight of the water in the water tower and gravity from the height of the water tower pushes the water through the underground pipes to your home. During the day when most of us are awake and using water is when the water empties from the water towers. At night when most of us are asleep is when the water towers refill. So there you have it. Your water starts as groundwater or from the Grand River. Groundwater is pumped up a well and goes through underground pipes to your home. Water from the Grand River is cleaned at a treatment plant and then continues through underground pipes. And sometimes the water passes through a water tower before arriving at your home. And all this water is cleaned and tested to make sure it is safe to drink. Cheers! <laughs>